and that's sexual. What is this? It's a it's a screenshot that I've not seen as any part of the coverage, and he's going out of his way to explain it all, bro. <laughs> what is this? Ang, what? And yeah, when I was 14, I also wanted to f my hot teachers, obviously, but interests, <laughs> desires, and preferences shouldn't really be accounted for. Why is he saying all of this? I, I, I think my logic was, oh. no, I know what my logic was. It was that- Oh my God, dude, it's so bad. No. I guess I don't know what I was expecting. I just don't know what I was expecting. Something better than this. Was my stupid f <laughs> can't help himself, bro. The explanatory variable. Bro, just speak normal for fuck's sake. You're fine for your life out here, bro. Stop with the bullshit. Just speak normal. <laughs> Probably give it a what? Two or three out of ten in terms of a response, I guess. I don't know. Just <laughs> we are 55 minutes into the response video. And we're finally getting to the good stuff. So we're going to get responses to the Discord screenshots and the taxes folder. Okay. Just in case we don't end up including all of it, all of the other stuff. Just to quickly summarize for you, the first part of the video was him going over some of the old clips. And he says pretty conclusively at multiple times he was being an edgy debate bro. And that was the reason he was making the arguments in the way that he was. And he was explaining things like utilitarianism badly. Okay. Now my point on that is that's all well and good. If you take the arguments and the points in and of themselves. Fine. Yeah. But... Obviously, there are other things to be accounted for, okay, that's wonderful. mainly the lollycon horse cock porn that was on the computer. I didn't paladin became a Thank you for the membership. But before we get to that, we've got this part here where he talks about the Discord screenshots. So let's have a little look and see what he's got to say about those. But I, yeah, unfortunately for me, my presence online dates uh, back way farther than the creation of my channel, which means people interested in finding examples of me saying stupid shit have a pretty wide range of material to choose from. Before I had a channel, or was even known as Vosh, I was a frequent and notorious shit poster in the community of a streamer called Destiny. I know, that's why I am the way I am. Uh, I had been in his community for a long time, really long, and I really enjoyed the... Uh, What's that, uh that's why I am the way I am, because of Destiny. Interesting. Uh, the edgy, irreverent, debate lord culture of his Discord server. So let's look at some of the stupid, edgy, irreverent shit I said six years ago there that people have since screenshotted out of context in the pursuit of calling me a pedophile. So this is a perfect example of context being maliciously stripped from a screenshot in order to make me look bad, even though I'm right and uh, it, I'm, it's not even controversial. You know, I'm uncon- I've just thought of something as well. Didn't socialism done left also get, well, this was, his was different because it was like racism and stuff, right? <laughs> Didn't he also get done for having done like what were considered to be bad screenshots from Destiny's Discord too? Oh, what is this screenshot as well? I've not seen this one. Dude, why is he showing screenshots that aren't even included? in any of the coverage that I've seen. Why would he include this one? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. It just feels like he's bringing up new stuff that I've not seen before. Is he going to talk about the poppy stuff? I, I doubt he's going to talk about that, is he? Probably best leaving that. Let sleeping dogs lie on that one, I reckon. Anyway. Controversially right, I hope. The conversation was about media and LGBT representation. Here's the gist of it. So uh, coming of age stories are really common. You know, like a young person, uh, they go on an adventure, uh, they meet people they like, maybe they fall in love, they slay a dragon, whatever. Really, really, really common type of story. One of the main types of stories, even. And one of the biggest culture war talking points back in uh, 2017, and I guess still now today, is that that kind of story is weird and pedophilic, and I guess the modern term would be groomery, I don't know, if the protagonist isn't straight. Right. So their argument was, you know, you can have a story where a young man goes on a journey and falls in love with a girl and everything's fine. But if a young man goes on a journey and falls in love with the guy, then it's 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 what? weird and it's gross and it's different. And that's sexual. What is this? It's a it's a screenshot that I've not seen as any part of the coverage. And he's going out of his way to explain it all. bro. I don't know what's going on. Why is he talking about all this? I've, I honestly have not seen that screenshot anywhere. I, has, has anyone else seen that screenshot before? 
It just feels like he's adding new new meat to the barbecue of like people that's going to come for him. Realizing them because because young people can be straight, but they can't be gay, you know, because that's weird. That means they've been abused or whatever. That that was the that's the argument that I was pressing against, you know, and 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 hopefully everyone watching understands that's a it's a ridiculous and homophobic and you know irrational argument. It's a, it's a stupid double standard. But that's what I was pushing back against. You know, the the exploring sexuality there in that context means it being incorporated as a plot element, like. Like in every story, right? Uh, the last oh, airbender, Ang, likes. <laughs> what is this? Ang, what? What is? What is going on? Why is he bringing this up? What is going on here? What is this about? Listen, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. What with what was on your hard drive, you probably want to avoid the anime. Give the anime shit a miss just to be on the safe side, bro. Why is he bringing this up? I don't know where this is coming from. None of this has anything to do with any of the conversation that's been had about screenshots at all. Katara. Spoilers. That's sexuality. That's heterosexuality, I believe, is the term for it. You know, in, in, in Teen Titans, Robin, uh, like Starfire, not Raven, right? Starfire. Whatever. Like, normal, uh, uncontroversial, uh, you know, homophobes will say, like, oh, well, actually, it's bad if it's, you know, if, if young people can be gay, even though everyone knows they can be. Like, it's... T I have a feeling the person who clipped this to, like, use it against me wouldn't even disagree with the argument I'm making because a lot of these, like, really oh, bad no. faith clip jobs come from people who are ostensibly left-leaning, which makes me wonder, like... If, if they don't understand they're doing the same thing that, that like the conservatives they would otherwise disagree with would do i don't know it's really 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 frustrating uh, nobody disagrees yeah this is a going off into into some sort of argument about something that isn't even the topic of conversation or even relevant right i don't even know that screenshot i mean to me you could just say look i was being intentionally edgy i would say things in the most provocative way possible and it looks really bad Okay, I mean, that's it. That's all you can really say about that. This idea that he's trying to back up the argument that he was making. I, I don't think that people are going to be particularly engaging with that, particularly when you're bringing up whatever fucking shows he's bringing up. I mean, this is like as someone that's covered this extensively. This seems to be a, a complete and utter off the beat and off the track of what we're supposed to be talking about here. It's just yapping. Yeah. Just yapping. It's flailing, yeah. And I, again, that screenshot is is not anything I've seen before. So you're explaining stuff that I've not even seen as part of the conversation, you know? It's, it's like he's going, oh, there's all these screenshots. Well, there's also this one as well, and no one's seen it before. And it's like, wait, so there's more times that you're saying weird stuff about this thing? Like, no, just focus on what is in the discourse me on the argument that I'm making here. I hope if I had only known then what my future would hold, then maybe I would have uh, optically workshopped it a little more. Uh, on to the next one. Yeah, okay, so this one actually is bad, and I've apologized for it uh, a few times. Basically, here I'm doing that <laughs> thing that guys do where, uh, you know, a hot female teacher will be arrested for raping a student, and the guys in the Facebook comment section will be like, uh, you know, where was she when I was that age? Could have used me some of that. And, and, and basically, like, the thing they do where they downplay and trivialize the sexual abuses of the teacher because they personally think it would have been cool if they could have slept with their hot teachers back when they were 14. Oh, and yeah, boy. when I was 14, I also wanted to fuck my hot teachers, obviously. Uh, but, you know, 14-year-olds are idiots. Their uh, interests, <laughs> desires, and preferences shouldn't really be accounted for. Why is he saying all of this? <laughs> Why not just say, yeah, it was a sick, disgusting thing that I said to be provocative? Why is he trying to argue this? And again, this is something that's often criticized now, where you see the kind of comments like that, and there's people that are like, yeah, this is gross. Just because someone's a lad doesn't mean you know it presents it presents men and younger boys as like these you know in the most horrible way acting like that's a totally fine thing to happen when obviously there are potentially very bad consequences that can come of that happening even if you think it's okay at the time because you've got this weird analysis that men are like more sexual or whatever right and so therefore them doing that at 14 years like why is he going into this route with it like just say yeah it was fucked up i shouldn't have said it, it was a totally fucked thing to say but he's trying to explain the logic of making the comment whilst also saying it's bad and he's apologised for it. Oh. There's a, a solid moral argument to, uh, to anything. 
So this screenshot isn't really missing any context. Uh, it actually is shitty, but I've since come around on this and uh, I've recognized how bad it is to downplay or idealize that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I've been consistent about that for years now on my channel. Not much else I can do. Uh, all right. Next one. Uh, all right. So this one looks bad. I think this is probably oh, like no. one of the other things that gets <laughs> used against me the most often. I, it, it is mostly just stupid in the same way that the previous- <laughs> it's just what he brings up. Yeah, this one's really bad as well, actually. <laughs> no. Honestly, okay. I can, if it, if, if it was me, I just think I'd say, there are a lot of screenshots of me saying really despicable things that I shouldn't have said. Um, you can just rest assured that if you're seeing messages that are from 2018, I totally denounce that. I do not believe that. And I was just trying to be edgy in a Discord server. Why? Why? Like, I don't understand the bringing it up and he's trying to be like, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Bro. Oh. In the lead up to explaining the taxes folder, as he's calling it. Uh-oh. Day before Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> no! Previous, like, terminally online debate-brained uh, tendencies we've seen uh, have been stupid. You know, my argument was that under socialism, an economic system that I don't believe exists or has ever existed, you could defensibly adopt an age of consent set to the same level as it is currently set to in England or France. Uh, another pointless intellectual exercise conducted, I assume, because I and a lot of other people in the Discord server believed arguing controversial topics uh, through inane hypotheticals made us cool and smart. Wow, good thing that didn't carry forward into my streaming career. Um, I, I, I think my logic was... Oh. No, I know what my logic was. It was that... Oh the, my god, dude, it's so bad. No. This is a mess, yeah. There's literally no reason to go into all of this either. I don't get it. I just think this is just... I mean, I guess... I guess if he didn't include it, would I be sat here saying you could have included it? I, I don't know if I would. I think if he just made a broad statement of, look, there's a lot of edgy things I said in Discord that I could completely disavow now. I think that's, that's fine. But he's kind of bringing it up and trying to explain it. And also... These screenshots, obviously not the fundamental issue, it's what we're going to get to, which is the taxes folder, the okay, lollicon horse crop form. But how do I make money? Thank you for the 333. Walsh should have opened his special folder, and if there was no other lowly beside those two, I will believe him. Yeah. The idea that economic disparities are a primary element of the power imbalance between adults and minors, and that removing that imbalance through total economic equality would rectify uh, a, a part of the power imbalance. It's a stupid argument. Uh, I, I definitely don't oh, agree with it rough. anymore. I probably didn't agree with it like very shortly after I made it because I was arguing about it. Uh, you know, like I, it's oh, pretty okay. easy to poke holes in that one. I got to say economic disparities oh. are present in couples of literally every age, right? The power imbalance between adults and minors is more developmental and social. Uh, so the argument was stupid and meaningless, yes, but you have to understand that uh, to the mind of the terminally online debate bro, the hotter and less necessary the take, the cooler you are for making it. Uh, great stuff, you know. I've done I've done myself nothing but good service in in, in the pursuit of all these excellent arguments that needed to be had. I, I I think that's it for the Discord screenshots that I can meaningfully add context to. Uh, you know, like ones that I think are substantive enough to warrant any kind of explanation. The others are fake, like just like faked, like Photoshop. Clearly, the dude isn't hoarding lolly. Why would you conclude that though? Why would you, why would your conclusion be that clearly he isn't? I think that the I think there's a stronger argument that he may well be. I wouldn't say clearly he is, but like the fact that he's got it in a to be sorted folder would indicate to me that he probably does have more. Why would you conclude the opposite? What the fuck? any kind of explanation. Sweep away. The others are fake, like just like faked, like photoshopped or whatever, or so insubstantial that addressing them feels pointless. Yeah, you know, I want to give you an example of what that so often looks like, though. So here's one so stripped of context that uh, I don't even remember what. The conversation was about. Yeah, I see so so many attacks against me. Substantial. Oh, this is another one I haven't seen. What do pedos ever do to you? I don't even know if like this has been discussed. I mean, what even is being said here? Oh man, he should have just had a blanket statement for all of this. But anyway, 
Let's try and get through this, and then we'll get to the uh, the taxes folder. Appreciated by evidence, evidence like this stuff so insubstantial, you would have to already dislike me uh, to buy into it. Well, this is so insubstantial. I don't think anyone. I've not seen this before anywhere. I've not seen anyone present this as anything because it's just a. I don't. What, what, there's nothing there that I would look at and go, "Oh yeah, this means Vosh is a nonce." It's just nothing. It. Leaving aside the fact that, like, if if you're screenshotting a message so selectively that you remove, like, not only the literally all the surrounding information, but you've you've, you've the image exclusively. Well, who, who has done that? Who has screenshotted this and presented it to say you're a nonce? Where's that happening? Contains a single sentence. I mean, Jesus. Uh, like, if that's the standard for making a person look bad, you can make anyone look bad. Like, it's incredibly easy to make people look bad if that's the standard. But the one sentence that remains is literally a stock joke. It's it's wry sarcasm, you know, like, um, oh, wow, uh, what, what, did, what did Benito Mussolini ever do to you? Wow, what did arsonists ever do to you? Wow, someone got murdered in your town and you think that's bad? Hold on there, buddy. What did murderers ever do to you? Like, the, the, the joke only works if the person making it assumes everyone present already knows the group being referred to as bad. Nobody actually says that when they're defending a group, like, sincerely, you know? Like, what, like nobody, that's, it, it's a stock joke. I don't want to be annoying by overstating this, but attacks against me are given a lot of perceived legitimacy by the sheer volume of evidence. But if you actually look into that volume, uh, a lot of it is just nothing. I there's a master screenshot floating around with all of these. I think he's picking stuff from there to defend because it's actually fairly defensible in context. Yeah. Well, obviously, when you include that and you include it alongside a bunch of other crazy shit he said, it's going to look bad. But then you can pick that out and go, well, what's the problem with this? Well, I think the point the person is probably making is, yeah, there's probably some people that just want to fucking destroy you. So they'll put whatever they can to make you look bad. But I think, again, it's the context of well, all of this together and the comments on stream. And now the lollicon horsecock porn in your hard drive, that creates an image where people are going to conclude that you're a nonce. Oh, yeah. Just focusing on things that aren't even part of the public discourse. I don't think I've seen a single person talking about that in any meaningful way. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to see some gigantic uh, ultimate compilation of evidence against Bosch with 100 links. And then you look into them and fully like 90% of those links are just nothing, sheer filler, uh, completely meaningless. But to everyone else, it might as well be 100 bulletproof accusations because they're never actually going to look at them. I'm not just saying that. I've been online for a while. I know how internet drama works. You hear about a person being bad. You hear about them being bad so many times. You know, people say, oh, look, here's the evidence of it's a big like you, you, you think everyone reads those big twit longers. All those big documents, those 18 page Google Docs that people drop with all the evidence of this and that. Most people don't read all of that. I find this, God, I find this really annoying coming from Vosh because he is the fucking concluder. When was the last time he had heard an allegation and substantively looked over it? He concludes all the time. I look over that shit because I care about it and I want, you know, I, I don't want to put out information that's incorrect and I want to give it a fair shake on both sides of the, you know, did it happen? Did it not happen? Is it overstated? Da, 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 da. But Vosh has got a habit where he doesn't even bother looking into it and he pumps out a video and he backs up an allegation without even knowing what it is. Or Right? Am I crazy on this? I'm pretty sure Vosh has done this. That's a good joke, Ch Chad. You care. Of course I do. What you think? You think I'm sitting there reading through a forty-page twit longer or forty-page document of an allegation, and I don't care about it, and I'm just like doing it. Like obviously, yeah, content is front and center of what I do, but I can make content about a bunch of shit. But I choose to look at that because I do care about allegations and like trying to figure out the truth of it and what's true and what isn't. I'm not trying to make out like I'm some super moral actor. But I'm just saying that this idea of who reads it, well, people that care about the truth, Vosh, they read it. People that don't just want to conclude, they read it. And it's just very rich coming from this guy when he won't even bother to fucking look at something and come up with a video with very strong claims about it, concluding all the way. For the most part, like, about a person being bad, you hear about them being bad so many times, you know, people say, oh, look, here's the evidence of it. it's a big, like, you, you, you think everyone reads those big twit longers? 
all those big documents, those 18 page Google Docs that people drop with all the evidence of this and that. Like people- this is a big self report to Vosh's concluding. He doesn't bother to look at this shit, but still talks about it anyway. Fucking hell. People don't read all of that. For, for the most part, you know, if there's a lot of evidence towards a person being bad or a lot of perceived evidence, I, I don't think that's nothing. But I don't want to, you know, I, I can't like, we can't pretend that it's not impossible to pack a bunch of sawdust in with the, with, with the grain, you know? And I- He's talking about the CDO of allegations, which is something I always talk about, where yes, it's true that people will just chuck as much as they can at you to, you know, paint a certain impression, but he has been suckered by that himself before. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's all very well saying that, but if one of the allegations has got substance, even if there's bullshit with it, well, you've got to answer to that. And he will do in a minute. We're getting to it. He's going to talk about the folder. I think that oftentimes I am either responding to people who have a couple of very pointed criticisms, almost always the child labor argument thing, uh, which I've talked about, of course, but, but the more, the more frustrating one is like, sometimes, you know, you see people saying stuff about me and then you turn and look behind them to see what like evidence they've mounted. And a lot of it is like nothing. And, and I feel like if you could tell them like, Hey, look, turn around, like, look at what you're using. Do you not think it would be um, good for you to stand by any of these criticisms or yeah, I, you know, I, 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 my frustration here is clear. I, I don't want to oversell it. I have said legitimately stupid stuff. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to deny that or, or downplay that. I'm only saying that it makes it more difficult for me to address or give context to those things, give people the opportunity to decide for themselves with the real information, how they feel about me when it's all being kind of, you know, uh, buckshotted at me in a, in a, in a, in a big cloud of nonsense. I, I don't want to harp endlessly about that nonsense because I, I feel like it does take away from the substantial stuff. But like, look at this. I, I'm like, like, look at this. This is like, here, here's like a, here's a screenshot. Here's the kind of shit. I Who cares about that? I've never seen this before in my fucking life. Where is this coming from? No one cares about this. Bro, why are you bringing this up? I see. Yeah, like, like, what does this mean? You know, why do I see this included as a, like, what did I mean here? I don't know. How is this supposed to implicate me? Why, why is this being presented as evidence that I'm a, a pedophile? Like, Jesus, look, look at this one. I, I wrap up my, my afternoon classes. I get back home to my computer. I open discord to find the brain geniuses of, of destiny's community having a spirited and ex again, I've not seen this one either. Okay. That's wonderful. But how do I Thank make you for the money super off depressed people? I don't know who's presented Again, this. I've not seen this before. By being bad faith and jumping to conclusions, but expects supreme charity when it's found out that he beats his bleep to LOL. Stylo. Thank you. I've got no clue where this is coming from. I'm trying to find... I'm... Okay. I don't watch Vosh's content enough, clearly. But like... Uh, Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Is it fair to say that Vosh has backed up allegations against people before without substantively engaging with the content of said allegations? Admittedly, he doesn't talk about it loads. But but yeah, I'm fairly certain that... I've, I'm sure I've watched a video. Videos of him talking about like an allegation. I'm like, yeah, you're totally wrong. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. extremely necessary debate on the subject of sex bots that look like children. So I sigh deeply, bring my fingertips to the keyboard and type, this is why I come here. My professors never want to talk about pedophile sex bots. I, I mean, the only thing I'm doing here is mocking the topic being discussed, which was, I feel, appropriate. This was all the way back in 2017. So if nothing else, you can see the vat my brain was stewing in before I went on to make my channel and immediately kneecap it with a meaningless, counterproductive, pointlessly edgy devil's advocate, there's constructed social environments for you. Again, again, I'm not saying that there's no legitimacy whatsoever to people being critical of me. It's just, you know, a lot of stuff gets thrown my way. So after all that, now we, we finally arrive uh, at this most recent drama, the, the incident. Okay, here we go. So in terms of summarizing that, I mean, it's good that he, I guess, I mean, it's not good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that could have been fucking five minutes long. Here, there's some controversial things to say in Discord. It was really stupid to say it. And then it feels like it feels like he's kind of pivoted towards stuff that no one's even talking about. 
to, to like I'm sure that does happen, but that's not really the matter at hand here, is it? Right? Most of the discussion is not about something you said in 2017 that's obviously a joke. It is about the things that you showed. That's what people are concerned about because it paints a bad picture with the new information, which is you've got this lollicon horsecock stuff on your hard drive. <clears throat> that lit a anyway. fire under drama YouTube and is, to my mind, the only thing I've done in the past four years that actually actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing to say the okay, least. That's wonderful. So there well, I was I uh, streaming a few weeks ago, pressing. browsing a men's fashion site. I wanted to look at an image more closely, so Thank I right bits. clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally instead clicked the save as tab in the right click drop down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, a fucking idiot. My preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called To Be Sorted, where oh, no. every image, document, music file, whatever I happen to download gets sent. Uh, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer, but, you know, there you go. It, it's me. So I hit Save As, and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had porn in it. So I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD, even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. It's TOS. Uh, you got to delete the VOD. So uh, I, I stream with no delay and folks are always screen capturing the feed. So I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably public knowledge. But to be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because it made me look like a careless idiot, not because I was ashamed of the like furry demon monster GF big dick porn stuff I knew I had in there. You know, I. I mean, we're getting there, I'm sure. I'm sure he's going to obviously talk about it. But like, I just, yeah, I just think that our society is pushed towards ever more. And this isn't talking about the worst of it, the lolly Corsquark stuff. But, you know, we've got to the point where there's just no shame anymore. No one's got any shame. I remember when you used to go into the Mr. Patel's store and buy a porno mag and you had to hide it because you were so ashamed about buying a porno mag. But now it's like we're not supposed to feel shame about the darkest secrets of our sexual desires being revealed to the world. No, shame is good. Bring back shame. We need more shame, okay? We need to be more Puritan. Anyway. Porn sick. Yes, it's porn sickness. 100%. People, people are so comfortable with the consumption of whatever fucking porn okay, going and it's put in front of but us for people, yeah, off people don't have any shame Why over people it. People call me a pedo. If you cross the border to the south, it's called abusador de niños. <laughs> Good meme. Thank you, Vouch, for the 333. <clears throat> I rambled about liking all that stuff on stream before, not a secret. And I thought, you know, maybe, uh, in a way, this fuck up would come across kind of charming. You know, like... Uh, <laughs> Is this the autism speaking? <laughs> I thought it would come across charming. Okay. There is probably a world where, let's say you leaked a folder and it had like, I don't know, nudie image, like just very like nudie images of adult celebrities or so, adult, adult porn stars, and it was kind of softcore or something, right? That might be a bit charming, right? It's like, oh, you saw my blue, oh, you saw my blue folder. Uh oh, oops, right? Do you see what I mean? Maybe something like that. You might be because you know that's a, that you're showing your humanness, right? You're showing that whatever you show on stream, like for example, if I showed that, I normally say about how I don't watch porn and stuff like that, okay? And I'm against it. Da 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 da. Okay, obviously, I think everyone can <laughs> read between the lines, money, okay? I am a man it. after all, right? Okay, that's wonderful. So if that I being said, I accidentally showed a nudie people. folder of like porn stars and it was very softcore, that would be kind of a bit charming and funny. And I don't think anyone would like think that much of it. It would just be kind of a funny, funny thing. We'd have a laugh about it, right? Because you're showing a your human side. Especially when I, you know, try not to, I, I'm not like a sexual person on stream, right? So that might be the case if it's something like that. Not when it's fucking horse cock porno. What planet are you on that you've got horse cock porno and you think people are going to go, oh, that's very, what a charming little mistake. Demon horse cock porno. And now also the lollicon thing. But just that in itself, the way he's referencing it, the idea that would be seen as charming is just insane to me. That is the porn sick mind at play. 
Uh, that's my streamer, that fucking idiot right there. My community was already making a big joke of it by the time I went live again. Of course, I knew as soon as the folder opened on stream that it would be pretty easy for people to lie about what it contained, to stir up drama or cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on in that stream, one or two people came to chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet, the two of the images <laughs> in my folder preview window uh, were actually from a well-known Lolicon artist and therefore definitely intended to be Lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. Now, obviously- So, right, so he's gonna stick with the argument. I'm assuming he doesn't, I'm assuming he doesn't bring up the goblin thing again because that was absolutely atrocious the first time round. But we're supposed to believe that this uh, this artist does lolly, and having having seen, you know, some of the images. I mean, and also the analysis about it on 4chan and Kiwi Farms, and we're supposed to believe that you accidentally downloaded this, not realizing what it was. I just don't buy that, man. That just seems it's Occam's razor shit, isn't it? <laughs> like, is it is it more likely that he saw it, liked it, and downloaded it, or is it more likely that he saw it, downloaded it, not realizing what it was, later finding out it was a lolly artist, and only finding that out when the internet was mad at him for having lolly in there? I mean, come on, man. If you're gonna lie about it, at least come up with something a bit more simple, right? <laughs> yeah, I downloaded a big batch of files, and I didn't realize. Um, that's that's what it is. I don't know. This just seems so unbelievable to me. I just don't buy it. I do not buy it at all. This this kind of we it just it, it's like it, you know when someone it feels like someone is lying. It feels like he's lying and he's over explaining to justify the lie. That's what it feels like to me. And even if it was true, it's like, well, what are you looking at that you end up looking at that and downloading it? Like, how are you in a position? Like, if anything, it indicates that there's more of a problem there because your consumption habits are that you're looking at that kind of material. I mean, he's a, he's a, he likes lolly. I, I don't know. I just, that's my view on it. I just You've demonstrated by mistake that you've got lollycon on your hard drive. To me, you like lolly. This whole thing is over two picks. Yeah, but then you're just looking at one aspect of this, which is that's the to be sorted folder. What else does he have on there? And besides my own views on it, which is that, you know, if you're looking at Lolly, that indicates to me that you have got some sort of sexual proclivity in that direction, because otherwise, how would, an, how would a drawing of a child arouse you, right? There has to be something there beyond just it's an anime thing, right? You probably do have some something going on there, right? But by Vosh's own logic, which seemingly he doesn't want to engage with, by Vosh's own logic, he okay, said himself wonderful. that if you I jerk off to Lolly, you're, prob you're probably of some sort of pedo. Right all along. Vosh is ontologically evil. But you can't... I've, when have I called Vosh a pedo? I've never called Vosh a pedo. I don't. I don't personally think he is a pedo. I know some people would do. Some people not like the fact that I'm not calling him a pedo, but I've not called him a pedo. But if someone wants to argue that he is and wants to bring together all these different pieces of information, I find it difficult to argue against that. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and argue against that because he's done everything possible to make that make that appear to be the case. So now I'm hiding, Lolly. Why do you say that? Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? This excuse is yes, that true. His mum that he downloaded a computer virus, the 2024 model. Oh, I don't know how that virus got on there. I was just looking at um for for funny pictures, and then all of a sudden I had a big virus on my computer. Obviously, the accusation here isn't just that I had those images saved. That part's true. Not really an accusation, but. Also, that I must have known uh, that they were Lolicon and saved them because they were Lolicon. Now, 
the obvious and predictable but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that. And that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings because... <laughs> Dude, it's just hopeless, man. <laughs> it's just hopeless. You can't win. I just think you can't win, man. You can't win unless you... Oh, dude, I don't know. He's already made a very bad excuse. He's followed up now. Oh, dude, it just, it's not believable. It is just not believable, I'm afraid. How is this believable? It's not fucking... It's just not... It's not a believable excuse. I didn't know. It's rough. That is a rough situation, I must say. I don't really know how to wrangle that. Much like a horse. Because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. You know, I mean, drawings are abstractions and art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters that are unambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about it being a problem like a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. Yeah, I, I know what some people are going to say, you know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And like, like, what am I going to do? Make a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like, I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions or whatever. I, I know fully well that like 99.9% .9 of people who have heard about this drama haven't seen the images, nor do I think those people should go looking for them, obviously. So it's pretty much entirely a take me up. Right. So the images are so bad that the people should not go and look for them. But you saw it and you thought, I want a bit of that. <laughs> you saw it and thought, oh, I like it. Oh, that looks nice. These images are apparently so obviously disgusting that they shouldn't even be viewed. Um, but you saw it and thought, oh, right click, save. Yes, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bro, come on, dude. <laughs> And you were in a place where you could gain access to those images. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> I just, there's no getting around it. I, don't, I guess I don't know what I was expecting. I just don't know what I was expecting. Something better than this. He's also petting himself into a corner as well. Because he has made the Goblin short stack excuse. And everyone knows the Goblin short stack excuse. And now he's not bringing it up here, presumably because he recognizes it sounds fucking insane, right? It's indefensible. It's indefensible. That's it. And again, listen, I'm not saying it's the same as actual CSAM. I'm not making that argument. Um, I just think that looking and consuming those kind of images says something about you. And... Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not saying that harm has been done in the creation of that image, but if you're consuming that, then you got some fucking problems to contend with as far as I'm concerned. And if your reasoning is, oh, I didn't know, I just don't believe that. I do not believe that to be the case. And that's, that's all you've got. And what it's going to come down to is, I think, how much do you like Vosh? If you really like Vosh, you're probably going to be willing to accept this as cope, as cope, so you can continue to justify watching him and go on about go on about your business, right? But I don't, I don't buy it personally. If there were, you know, and it's not as if I wouldn't accept this in totality. If the circumstances were different, if it was like some sort of mass download thing or something, or there was, you know, th there's plenty of ways that that could end up on your computer. If if you didn't know that what you were downloading and you your way you were doing it was it was uh, you know like um, what's the word like incompetent or what's the other what's the other what's the word I'm thinking of? Oh my god, I've got dementia. I've got word dementia. <clears throat> irresponsible. Irresponsible is what I'm thinking of. If you're irresponsibly just downloading mass files and stuff like that, maybe. Been indiscriminate, indiscriminately downloading porno. Zip file. Yeah, look, here's a zip file, guys. You know, if it was like, look, guys, I know this looks real bad, but just to prove it to you, this is the zip file that I, I downloaded. I downloaded it from a website. Really stupid. I just, I dumped it all in there to be sorted out. I believe something like that. I believe something like that. That's more believable to me. And I'd be like, okay. But then here's the problem as well, though, right? 
if that in and of itself was what had happened, then yeah, that's believable. But once again, you've also that would be more reckless. But then what about all the comments that you've made? What about all the statements that you've made? What about the clip of you saying that you've jerked it, you've jerked off to Lolly? Do you see what I mean? Like okay, it's all wonderful. of it. It's just too but much to I bear. Even if there was a good the excuse that you had for this. Brothers, it's over. Seven hundred years pedo jail. Now you can join this community and remember to give all funds and donations to Chud instead of Vosh. Chud welcomes you. Chud, do the shill. Patreon up these lackeys. Money, 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 money. Okay, thank you very much for that. I will do a shill in a bit. But listen, this isn't about trying to snatch anyone's audience. I'm just doing the content that I find interesting. You know, and if you're a Vosh fan, you're probably not going to want to watch me because I'm probably not going to say things that you like a lot of the time. Um, I don't like to conclude, for one thing. But yeah, I don't know. It, to me, it just seems completely insurmountable. And I guess I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, what was I expecting from this? This is what it was going to be. That this is indefensible, <laughs> particularly when you take into account, you don't even have to look at my take on this. Vosh himself has said that the consumption of this material is is bad and probably means you're a nonce. Like, but he's he's hoisted by his he's hoisted by his own petard as well. Unless you're willing to believe that he accidentally downloaded this, not knowing what it was. Yeah. Oh my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to lie about the drawings or as I've already seen on Twitter, just post other really bad looking shit and say, that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it. Right. I See, that's, that's a little bit snaky and dishonest because if you go to Kiwi farms or 4chan was looking at it too, when I first heard this and I heard that 4chan has checked it, I was like, okay, well that's not really that reliable. Right. Like we want a bit more at first before we confirm that. But then like, Anime fans in my community were saying, no, this is what it is. Um, the Kiwi Farms post, you know, it all just stacks up to be, no, this is what it was. And while some people might be misrepresenting it, it is, in my perspective, undeniable to... What do you mean to? Huh? Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you for the how super do I chats. Make money off depressed people. Type one if you believe Vosh. Type two if you think Chud is handsome. Okay, thanks guys. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Handsome, I love that. Thank you. So yeah, you know it's it's difficult as well because I do try and look at things fairly, right? You know me. I look at these allegations and stuff, and I look at both sides of it. And I I'm not like an anti, you know, I'm not sat here to be anti Vosh or anything like that. I just think this doesn't stack up. And it feels to me like the comment about jerking off to Lolly was him trying to rationalize his jerking off to Lolly. He's more recently made comments against Lolly very strongly. And now he's got it on his computer. I mean, the idea that that was an accident when it seems more likely that he has previously tried to justify it. He's then moved to feeling a bit wrong about it. So he's tried to speak against it repeatedly and then to have it on his computer. It just stacks up a bit too, bit too neatly for me. But yeah, there we go. But at this point, I think with all the information and the research and the people Welcome talking about it, Chud I think it's Nation. undeniable that Chud, do you believe it was what it was? Right? Letters in the alphabet. I know only twenty-five letters of the alphabet, but I don't know why. C, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, okay. L. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Okay. S, T, U, V, W, X, Z. Watch me count to one thousand next. One, two, three, four. Right, let's continue. Uh, it, it's all totally unfalsifiable, and people are going to make whatever assumptions and inferences they want to make. All I can really say is that I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings, uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or inattentive or distracted. Uh, hell, uh, chat also pretty much immediately clocked two other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art, something else I didn't notice, and uh, they gave me plenty of shit for that, too, because I'm... I'm I'm not a big fan of AI art. Uh, you know, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So leaving that uh, <laughs> stupid, least charitable argument aside. Uh... <laughs> oh, dude. Look, there's no good explanation, I guess, is my conclusion of this. 
at this point, I just think the deck is stacked so hard against him. By his own design as well, not as in like people are doing it to him. There is just no good reason for this. There's no explanation that explains it other than he looked at it, thought I like a look, I like a bit of that, <laughs> downloaded it. <laughs> this is it. Vosh is now this is gonna hang around his neck forever. Oh dude. <clears throat> what would you do? What would you do? I I'll tell you the other thing as well. I think the reason that I'm having this reaction, maybe other people are as well, okay? Right? Is because it feels like he is so concerned with explaining it away so he can continue to do what he's doing. Where the right thing to do would be, at the very least, to say, yeah, I'm going to take a step back for a while. <laughs> you know? And, like, this whole video is obviously just a desperate attempt to turn public favour in his interest so he can just keep going and plowing through what he's doing. When well, I think a lot of people would, would probably, you know, the people that really hate Vosh are going to say, delete your channel and go and do something else. I think that you could probably say, hey, I'm going to take some time away and try and fucking sort through this shit and come back without being a fucking weird perv. Yeah, I don't know, man. The goblin allegations. Okay. Tacoma will weep no longer. Someone might then ask, okay, I get it. It's possible to make a mistake like that. Why then would you save the images? And what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but you know, it's, it's already pretty revealing video. There's actually a very clear and simple explanation for why, uh, you know, for not just those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings in that folder and all my porn tastes generally. And it's an explanation that is extremely well known and well substantiated. Uh, I, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. Yeah, I was looking through drawn porn like furry or hentai or whatever else. I saw a big well drawn dicks. I thought, cool, and saved the drawings, then never looked at. I did not notice the fact that the images were lolly because of the big meaty dick that was pounding them. Oh, God, it's so gross, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Don't be a pervert on the internet. I think that's a good lesson, isn't it? Don't be a pervert on the internet. It will only be your undoing, okay? <laughs> if you were to accept this as true, which I think is bullshit, but if you did, this is just proof you shouldn't be a pervert on the internet, okay? I, I just bringing up that, you just sound like very sordid. Like, I know he's trying to set, trying to couch it and preface it, but you just sound like a sordid freak. I mean, dude, why even talk about that? I like the big old dicks. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Oh. Well, that, that's the thing. Again, I just think too overwhelming. I don't think there's any coming back from this he'll be able to still eke out his streaming career right he's still going to be able to have an audience and stuff i don't think he's going to be going anywhere but in terms of the future yeah i just think this is going to be a complete limitation on any future significant growth and he should not be anywhere near mainstream politics <laughs> oh boy i guess we'll see what happens but I love big dicks, bro. Dude, come on. Really? That's in your response? Fucking hell, man. Um, I'll just take a quick pause to say, hit the subscribe button on YouTube. We're pushing heavy on the subscribers at the moment. We've got a lot of people here currently. So, you know, obviously we're Vosh heavy at the moment, but there's obviously other stuff that I cover too, but it's been a bit Vosh, Vosh, Vosh recently. But I'm sure normal service will resume shortly and we'll be back on drama okay, we're going to wonderful. talk a bit about but how do i make money with the wendigoon drama in a minute big ups on the 3k chun you're up bigly thank you for the super chat i appreciate it but yeah on on youtube hit that subscribe button obviously follow on kick and twitch too but subscribe 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 and like the stream too like the stream too like that stream also arta in chat's making a good point so originally, his claim was that he downloaded the images because they looked like short stack goblins and he just thought it was that body type. 
But now his claim is that I didn't really notice them because of the big meaty dicks. Which is like, which is it, bro? You can, there's a kind of a little bit inconsistent with each other. How do I make money off depressed people? Eddie, thank you for the no super chat. to the amount of money I would pay to not hear Vosh say size queen again. You want to hear that again, do you? Then again, yes. I an explanation that is extremely well known okay, that's and well substantiated. But how do uh, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. People. Yeah, I was looking through drawn porn Lord like Shai furry or hentai or whatever Lord else. I saw a big, well drawn dicks. I thought, cool, and saved the drawings. Then never looked at. Wait, them. Did, did we catch it, President Trump? Thank you very much for the uh, tip. Was that it? Did I miss it? Them again. A point. Let's go back again. Come on demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So leaving that uh, stupid, least charitable argument aside, uh, someone might then ask, okay, I get it. It's possible to make a mistake like that. Why then would you save the images? I and what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but you know, it's, it's already a pretty revealing video. There's actually a very clear and simple explanation for why, uh, you know, for not just those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings in that folder and all my porn tastes generally. And it's an explanation that is extremely well known and well substantiated. Uh, I, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. Yeah, I was looking through drawn porn like furry or hentai or whatever else. I saw a big well drawn dicks. I thought, cool, and saved the drawings, then never looked at them again as evidenced by the fact they are in a big dump folder literally called to be sorted. That's, you know, that, that's the extent of the consideration that I gave. Why? Okay. <clears throat> I just don't understand why you wouldn't structure a better defense, even if it's a lie. I'm, I'm not thinking of this from what's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is always to be honest, okay, if you get caught out with something. But what's the best PR response? Well, the best PR response is to say it's all off the back of a zip file that I Welcome downloaded. to Chud Nation. I had yeah, no idea yay, what was in there. Goblin short stack. Right? Am I crazy? Like to me, that would be the most believable excuse if you wanted to go down this route that I didn't know what it was, because now it's law that he looked at it, didn't realize what it was in his explanation, but downloaded it because he liked the way that it looked. I guess that was the original law, but now he's changed it a bit. We've had a what is it called? We're retcon. We've retconned it. So it was not that you looked at it and you liked it on the idea that it was more of a short stack goblin style of image. It is that you couldn't notice what they look like because of the big meaty dicks in it. I mean, dude. <laughs> the big dick thing was his excuse immediately after being confronted in Discord. Second channel video, both came with the goblin. Okay, I'll tell you why the goblin thing came out. Because Vosh, again, in egotistical hubris thought he could go live and just wing it and deal with it live without thinking about what he had to say. So once again, it feels like Vosh is being hoisted by his own petard, arrogantly thinking that he can just navigate this drama, going live, winging it, saying whatever the fuck he wants, when clearly, clearly, what he needed to do was take a step back and consider his response. God, it's rough. It is rough, isn't it? Anyway, let's continue. Gave those two drawings before my community and then the entire fucking internet hopefully corrected my mistake. Uh, it's hard to even say anything about it. You know, five seconds of a, uh, ooh, nice dick, cool line art, saved. And it's a whole discourse. Um, uh, you know, I wish I had an answer that was more satisfying, but really for something like this, I feel like people are going to believe what they believe. I, you know, I do think there is a real argument yeah. to be made about carelessness, especially with regard to Lollicon and its seeming omnipresence in the anime community. You don't have to know much about anime to know that's an issue uh, with it. I, I, I find it repellent and I've been bitching about it for years. Plenty of that. Is it? Wait a second, though. OK, I, I feel like people are going to let him get away with this one, but like. Is there not a way that you can consume this stuff without ever seeing a child, an image of a kid? I mean, bro. I don't look at anime stuff. It's not my interest. But, like, I'm sure that, like, you were going to be able to consume it in ways we're getting anywhere close to that. Like, I'm pretty certain that, you know, um, like on 4chan and stuff, they don't allow any lolly stuff, for example. So I'm presuming there's sites you can go to where they don't allow that shit.
It's widespread, but not impossible to avoid as he makes it out to be. Right, okay. That's not true. Which part? Yeah, because people keep talking about these tags. Apparently, you can you can blacklist tags and stuff like that. Hmm. 4chan allows it, does it? Okay. Well, if I'm wrong on that, I'm wrong on that. I just don't remember seeing it on there. That was on Hentai Alternative, though. Okay. Well, I'll take the L on that. I just remember looking at Hentai Alternative and it was always all adult stuff. I never remember seeing any lolly stuff on there. Mm. Well, if I'm wrong on that, I'll take the L. Okay, sure. So it's prevalent. Let's say that. So it's prevalent. It is prevalent. There is a point to be made there. But even if it's prevalent, does that mean that you are going to you are going to be in a position where if you're consuming this stuff it's it's it's, it's as inevitable as Vosh is seemingly painting it out to be or is there a way you can consume it and make sure that you eliminate any of that stuff like with the tags and stuff hmm yeah, I don't really have any answers to this because I just don't know enough about it. I think you're going to have to, if you're into anime yourself, you're going to have to just come to your own conclusion about it, right? I just think that fundamentally, regardless of what we think about that, for me, it seems pretty obvious to me that he probably very, like, very, very likely did know what it was and downloaded it because he liked it. That's my perception. As he says, you're going to come to your own conclusion. If you like Vosh, you'll probably think, no, it was an accident. But that's my take on it anyway. Let's continue. Bitching has been on stream too, but it's possible to find something repellent while also not being perfectly vigilant about it. Uh, you know, especially in art where stylization and abstraction can kind of, uh, I guess, cloud awareness and judgment of the extent to which any artists you follow or people in the community might be doing sussy shit, right? Pardon me for taking my okay, most indefensible wonderful. position yet uh, on this, you know, in this video. Uh, in what the history of my channel, I actually do like, like some anime, you know, and there's a lot of really good shit out there in the anime community broadly, society, and in a lot of the sick anime babes getting railed uh, on Twitter, you know, I'm sorry, like, often that is also cool. And I I hate the fact that Chad, you're admitting that you saw. No, I'm not admitting that at all. I just do not recall seeing any um, hentai images of children when I used 4chan. I don't recall seeing that. Um, I think that the fundamental premise at play here is is a bit of a lie as well because it's like you know a child when you see a child, right? <laughs> like this idea you would not know. I just it just seems completely absurd to me. That might work if we're talking about, you know, a sort of 17 or 18 year old character or something like that, maybe. Um, like the kind of thing that Ethan Klein was getting at, that they are pointing to as some evidence that he's a hypocrite on this topic. But when we're talking about, you know, well under the age of consent, I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. it just doesn't add up for me personally. Anyway, come on, let's get through this. Apparently, President Sunday responded to this. I was quite interested to see what he had to say because he's now off the Vosh train, but maybe we'll get to that as well. You know, the you know pervasiveness of, of Lollicon means that the entire community is tainted, basically, right? I don't like the fact that, like, you could be looking through what looks like a bunch of totally, like, normal, fine, cool uh, babes getting railed by big dicks, whatever you're into, you know? Well, also... Four chan, yeah. Listen, I've already said I'll take the L. I just don't recall seeing it, right? But Four Chan allows it apparently, but I don't remember seeing it. I've already said that, right? I don't understand why we're arguing this point still. Yes, I completely agree. I was wrong. Four Chan apparently allows it, but I don't think it's prevalent enough that you can't go on there and you definitely see. You know, you go on there and you definitely see it. I think you could easily use it and not see that stuff, right? So feeling like you have to be vigilant that in this incredibly normalized process, some of these drawings might be of characters that are canonically underage or that like an artist who generally draws in a kind of like cartoony style might be fine, but then another artist does that, but then they're like actually drawing like they're meant to be teenagers or whatever. I don't like it. And it's a normalization issue. And I think one of the best ways you could deal with it is by being aware. Uh, I'm not perfectly aware, so I fucked up. This 
wasn't the first time that I fucked up in this specific regard. Uh, you know, after the whole child labor argument saga, people went through a bunch of like likes in an old public Twitter or, you know, porn account that I had and over like thousands of liked, uh, you know, furry, big dick, monster girl images or whatever. I, I think they found one that was like the character was meant to be a teenager. You know, like, and it's not surprising to me that that might happen because, you know, I'm running between classes, scrolling. On yeah, my... this was a, um, a topic. I think, who is it? It's Oman Landre, I think, made a video about this, pointing this out. And um, I don't think I ever watched the video. But yeah, it was a kind of criticism. The thing is for me, I don't know about any of this fucking anime hentai shit, okay? I don't know the ages of all these characters. I just work off a very simple premise that you look at an image... And it's normally fairly easy to tell whether they're supposed to be an adult or have adult features at least, even if they're canonically 17, but they're supposed to have adult features. And then maybe you don't know that they're 17 or something like that, right? Like that would be the worst possible thing I could think of that might happen. But fundamentally, you're not going to see the difference between an adult anime or hentai picture and a child. And you're not going to know the difference between the two and you're going to confuse them. That just seems completely absurd to me phone i look at an image maybe two or three seconds before i like the degree of scrutiny required there indicates that this goes beyond some kind of like matter of personal temperance and extends broadly into like how weird is it that that's something that's been that normalized you know anyway i, I don't mean to like make a big point or or, or make okay it like sorry a sorry sorry i'm gonna stop responding to chat and just try and listen to what you're saying issue you know climate big dick monster girl images or whatever regard uh you know after the whole child labor argument saga people went through a bunch of like likes in an old public twitter or you know porn account that i had and over like thousands of liked uh you know furry big dick monster girl images or whatever i, I think they found one that was like the character was meant to be a teenager you know like and it's not surprising to me that that might happen because you know i'm running between classes scrolling on my phone i look at an image maybe two or three seconds before i like the degree of scrutiny required there indicates that this goes beyond some kind of like matter of personal temperance and extends broadly into like how weird is it that that's something that's been that normalized you know bro i just <laughs> how can you not tell the difference between an adult and a child image it just seems so crazy to me <laughs> This is why I don't like anime culture. I feel like, the, the, you know, you can have a criticism of anime culture and Japan is obviously degenerate and there's loads of crazy shit that comes out of there. Whilst also having a personal ability to discern between what's a depiction of an adult and what's a depiction of a child. Right? I mean, is that is that a crazy take? Am I, I don't know about this anime shit. You tell me. I just think you can have a discernment between those two things. And this seems like cope to blame it on the culture when you as an individual should be able to differentiate between that. And if he's saying there's another controversy where he liked an image and he apparently wasn't able to discern that because he was quickly looking at it, and then we've got this new controversy where he's downloaded an image or images and wasn't able to figure it out or discern. Like, if anything, mentioning that just makes the case against you more substantial, right? So you're saying that you've had this problem before and you've got the clip where you're talking about jerking off to Lollicon and oh, everyone's accidentally jerked off to Lollicon, am I right? Like, it just stacks up worse. It just stacks up to be a worse case for you. Probably best just to leave that at the side, right? I don't know. Why? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> oh, man. Unless I'm wrong about this and people that like anime or hentai are constantly plagued with this issue where they've got to try and they constantly are mistaking it and are accidentally liking images that are lollicon or downloading images that are lollicon. And this is a common problem that people that like hentai have. Like the way I could see it happening is is this, right? Okay, You're looking wonderful. at... Um, but how do I make money off depressed Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you. You're looking at like a broad thing, a big, big page of fucking anime stuff and you're scrolling through it and you're like, oh, what's this one? And then you realize and you're like, oh God, it's fucking lolly shit. Ugh. And you try and get rid of it, right? That's the way that I could see it happening and you being kind of disgusted with the fact that these images are popping up. But the fact that you are like demonstrating that you like it by liking it on Twitter, which is obviously, you know, I do understand the scrolling thing. I get all that. 
But then you've also got this controversy when you've then downloaded these images to your hard drive. You know, you start to lose that plausible deniability, right? And this is what I'm saying is all of this is just stacking up and it makes his argument and acting like he just didn't know less and less and less believable with each thing that we stack on top, right? So, yeah, that's my, I guess, take on this, right? And it is difficult. It is difficult because this is a difficult thing to navigate. But this response is making it worse because he's bringing in these other things that I wasn't even thinking about. And now he's mentioned that. And I'm like, okay, so you've had this problem before. Hmm. Well, that's another piece of evidence against you, sadly. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's one. You should also address but the fact that Vosh just said he's scrolling porn in a public it place. Yeah. To say if Vosh can't tell naked children from adults, he shouldn't be allowed near schools. Thank you very much for the three thirty-three. But no, I feel I feel like you saying stuff like, "Oh, you need to have someone on to explain this." I don't think I do, because I think I do understand the dynamic at play, and I do understand like. The idea that you might have stuff, you know, in there that you might not realize and you're like, oh, and, you, and then you look at it and you go, oh, shit, no, it's actually a kid. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Right. It's the downloading of it. It's the liking it. It's, it's you know, I don't understand much about the culture because I'm not into it, but I understand the dynamic and what's being explained. But that the dynamic that's being explained doesn't explain downloading it to your hard drive. OK, that's the problem. That's the issue. The dynamic being explained doesn't explain you being involved in another controversy about this previously. And then this controversy on top of that. Okay. That's the problem that I've got. It just feels like cope. Makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I don't mean to like make a big point or, or, or make it like a broader issue, you know, as a way of uh, pulling attention away from me fucking up. I... I just think it's a broader issue, you know? Um, you know, people people are going to say what they're going to say. They can judge me for what they're going to judge me for. I think a lot of people have been real and charitable. Uh, you know, I, I think it's insane to say this, like, ah, yeah, it's a pedophile. You got him. I think I think that's insane. But again, it's not really an evidentiary argument that I can make. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, God willing, anime culture will get better one day. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath, though. So, yeah. Uh, that like... If you're into anime, please, like, do you accept this? That he's saying, well, it's because of anime culture this happened. If anime culture was better, this wouldn't have happened. I just, it just seems like complete cope and a cop out. He's using it too broadly to cover up his own fucking misdeeds, as far as I can tell. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? He's lying. It wasn't just one pick and he interacted with lowly artists. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the, 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 I think this person's blocked me for the super chat. Let me see if I can, um, bring this up real quick. <laughs> There's some funny pictures here. A Vosh is like a donkey or something. Anyway, we're not here for that. Let's see what we can see. Okay. Oh, I don't even... Can I show you? Oh, I've got to be careful with this. Voss just admitted to his entire audience that his old account was his. The one where he was caught liking a bunch of disturbing lolly. Um, can I show this? Yeah, I don't know. This has got something over that. I can show you this bit, I guess. So the next picture is this character, but there's like bear emojis over the chest. I'm just going to play it safe. Let's just see what this says. Content warning. CP pedophilia. Guess the pedo stuff about Vosh is true. There's other sketchy stuff in there, including zoophilia. Beyond anthro stuff, literally a woman and a horse. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Shud, I am honestly starting to believe Vosh here, but he has a humiliation fetish. <laughs> right now he is getting off on how he just horse cock fucked his career harder into the dirt than his saved lowly. He is done. Thank you for the 333. 
Third is Star, a 15-year-old character. There's a bunch of Connie from Steven Universe, like several. Anyone got that clip of Osh literally talking about a CPS fight? So there, they're making the same argument here. I mean... Oh, that's dicey, man, isn't it? Like, he's got the same controversy before. So, and he's just admitted that that was his account. And he, dude, bro, why would you bring that up? I wouldn't have even thought of that. I, I forgot that there was like some other thing. Oh, dude, that is not good. Oh, no. So it's not even the first time this kind of thing has happened. Before it was liking it on Twitter. So he wants you to, so basically, in order for this to be true, you need to believe that he accidentally liked that, not realizing what it was back then. And then also, we also need to believe that he did, downloaded it, not realizing what it was. I mean, what's more likely? I guess that's what I'd ask you. <laughs> oh, no. Sh such a stretch. What? What? To be well, to believe Vosh is a stretch. Yeah, sure. But not to believe me. But the sim Look, I'm giving you the simplest possible explanation for this, right? He looked at those images of Lolly stuff and thought that looks nice and liked it. And then he saw the lolly stuff here and was like, oh, I like this. I like this. I'm going to download it. Boom. But no, it's because of anime culture and because of how uncertain it is. He wasn't certain. He didn't know what it was, so he downloaded it. He didn't know what the other stuff was, so he liked it. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break, will you? At this point, you might as well just be honest. You might as well just come out and say, say what he's got to say about it. Yeah, he likes lolly. He likes lolly. There we go. And then people will obviously make their determination, wish whatever way they want to go with it. That's the long and short of it. I'm sure there are other clips or screenshots or arguments out there uh, that people have thrown into their big anti-me documents. But like I said, I wanted to focus on the accusations that I feel are at least somewhat grounded. If I took the time to tackle all the obviously fake or disingenuous shit, we'd be here forever, and I think it would take away from the stuff I actually did feel I needed to address. You know, again, walking that line, there is a lot of bullshit, but I, you know, I, I don't want to convey the impression that I feel every attack against me is illegitimate, or at least not properly motivated. So yeah, this isn't about debunking a narrative, you know, it's about waving away the most transparently bullshit stuff so that I can focus on explaining the actual mistakes that I've made, the actual stupid shit that I've said, providing context and laying out my thought process so folks on the fence have all the information before deciding to lean charitably or not. Yeah, I can't make someone be charitable. It's just up to how they see things. And, you know, I can't ever view all this drama from an outside perspective. I'll always be biased because I am literally the only person who really knows how I feel and why I've said the things I said. And uh, But to cap it all off, to cap all this off, I'd still like to try my hand at it. I'll, I'll, I'd like to try and present the charitable narrative, how I feel this all looks with all the information and how I hope people take it. You know, again, not holding my breath on that one, but that's, this is what I hope for, you know. I have said some really, really stupid and difficult to defend stuff. Uh, that much is clear, uh, but almost all of it comes from the very, very beginning of my time as a live streamer. Looking at it all laid out like this, five or so years of drama and accusations, I think it should be clear to people who have watched this far that the explanatory variable in all those old clips was my stupid. <laughs> God help himself, bro. The explanatory variable, bro. Just speak normal for fuck's sake. You're fine for your life out here, bro. Stop with the bullshit. Just speak normal. <laughs> the explanatory variable. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy, I swear to God. Oh, man. How did this video make it worse? How did he make it worse? Why did he talk about another controversy involving lolly shit as well? How? Why would he do that? I didn't even think of that. Oh, man. 
Stop jerking off to weird shit, guys. Okay? If you want to jerk off to weird shit, jerk off to weird shit that isn't like pedo-esque. <laughs> I don't know. Just jerk off to like, I don't know. I don't know, whatever you want, but just don't jerk off to this shit. Is it really that difficult? Is it really that hard? I, I tell you what, here's the thing. Here's the, the you know, the, the, the paradox or something, I guess, right? It's like, if you are looking at this and are thinking, no, you know, if you're thinking you don't want to stop jerking off to Lolly because you enjoy doing it so much, okay, then that speaks to that speaks to the fact you probably got an issue you need to get looked into. If you feel like you can't get your rocks off without looking at cartoons of kids, then seek psychological help immediately. Right? I mean, is that a crazy take? That just seems like a totally normal take to me. Although, yeah, sure, no one's getting harmed in the production of the image. It's about what it says about you and what you're into and what you find arousing. It's not a, okay. Where is the harm? If you're happy jerking it to Lolly, getting sexually aroused by kids, as long as a child isn't actually getting harmed, you're a fucking pedo. You're a, you're a pedo with a justification. Okay? I don't know how else to say it. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, a kid isn't getting harmed making it, but you are getting turned on by an image of a child. I, it just seems so crazy that that's a, that's a, to some people online, that's such an insane take. Is it, you know, I say, if I went out to the world and said this to a bunch of people, explained it and said that, they'd be probably think I'm a weirdo, but they go, yeah, of course, that's obvious. But only online is that some sort of controversial take where it's like, oh no, but there's no kid getting harmed, is there? So can you make an axiomatic reasoning as to, bro, it's simple. It's so simple. Come on. It's easy. Fucking debate for a brain. Uh, the obsession with inane hypotheticals and devil's advocates and, and shock value bullshit, which I employed because I thought using examples and comparisons that normies couldn't handle proved I was smart. It, it really is impossible to overstate how much I, I dislike the me in those clips, uh, how I used to act uh, in general. That being said, the terrible arguments and hypotheticals really were contained to those shock value debate bro moments uh, and as i stopped being that kind of debate bro the terrible arguments and hypotheticals stopped and that's why just about every clip used against me is at least four years old they're more or less contained to a period of time during which i employed a rhetorical style uh, that i would describe as a, a, a fucking stupid and insufferable you know even if the point i was making was fundamentally okay i was also just way worse at communicating, which, which didn't help me. And that's another thing I'd like to stress. Uh, you know, if, if anything has been thoroughly, objectively, uh, uncontroversially demonstrated in all of this, it's that I'm a loudmouth. I, I can't shut the fuck up. I have no filter, etc. Worse then than it is now, but nonetheless, it's a character it's a trait. Dog. But in all the hundreds of times that sex or sexuality or kink or whatever else has come up on stream, uh, sometimes while I'm near blackout drunk from celebrating some event or another, you know, no filter. Oh, the poppy stuff. I mean, yeah, he's not. I mean, he has addressed the poppy stuff before. It's kind of. I mean, to be fair, H three H three didn't even really. They didn't really get into it. They touched on it, I guess. But yeah. Oh, it is, dude. The way he handled this was fucking atrocious. What on earth was he thinking? Filter, I've always been really, really blunt and consistent about what I'm actually into in people, whether it be people my height or people with big round glasses or people with really dark, tired looking eye circles or, or, or pronounced collarbones or aquiline noses or whatever else. You know, I, I know this is a low bar, but it's just it's really weird to me because people accuse me of, of being a secret pedophile who accidentally let his mask slip by virtue of several months of extremely loud abrasive, attention-grabbing, optically dogshit arguments, and yet also, back then and now, has been really consistent in wanting a, a girlfriend who looks like uh, Reagan. Re but wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He's got it backwards. He's got it backwards there. It's not that you speaking loudly about it, like, that's, that's it. 
the way people are interpreting it is you were trying to justify your own tastes because it's now been revealed that you've got this on your computer. And there's also, dude, if we, and there's the fucking like in the lolly on Twitter before. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. Oh man. Just a total disaster. Why even mention that? That's why it's against you. It's now that people, I mean, you know, the Twitter thing, obviously, I don't even know how widely discussed that was at the time. But the um, this stuff now is what people is what's making people look back and look at those clips in a different context. So he's he's he's, you know, he's putting it the wrong way around. He's putting the cart before the horse, you might say. Ridley from inside job, you know, like that's a very novel way of letting the mask slip, right? Like, like you know, no filter whatsoever it, 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 clearly a poor sense of how other people will uh you know it, it interpret his words at times not always the best communicator and yet it's every time this happens it's always contained to hyperbolic uh debate bro bullshit it's always shock value rhetorical bullshit which which again like i know low bar right but that to me at least that's the pattern that's the clear pattern and i don't do that anymore i'm a lot better at making arguments than i used to be i'm a lot less I don't, this, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to deflect. I'm a lot less autistic than I used to be. I don't know. At least marginally. These, these, these edgelord debate bro tendencies led me to think that the best way to construct my arguments and convince people that I was edgy and smart and blah, 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 is, was, was through the invocation of the kind of stuff that I have been dealing with the consequences of for five years. I, more than anyone, know the problems with those arguments. I just think that they indict me in different ways than people think they indict me. I think if nothing else, I mean, I think they just make me look like a fucking idiot. You know, <laughs> I have one that I'm trying to be less of, I, you know, ideally. I but would again, the problem with this too is, again, they made you look like an idiot before. This is the first time I've heard him say substantively, the, the strong criticism of what he was doing in those clips and he was being the edgy debate bro and that's only happening after the fucking lolly convoy has been revealed <laughs> oh no 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 like that i i certainly don't think i act now the way i did then i don't think five years from now i will look at me now and think as poorly of me as i do looking at me five years ago there has been some improvement that's the charitable explanation. That's the best I can offer. I think I set the stage with that child labor argument. You know, me being who I am, I, I mean, I was always going to get on, you know, people's nerves. And to an extent, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. A degree of abrasiveness, I think, is a necessary and endearing trait in some people. Cope, cope, I know. But I think that a lot of the stuff that's happened in my career over the past four years has been tainted by the way I made those initial arguments. And a lot of the stuff people throw at me, they wouldn't have thought to throw at me if it wasn't for that initial poisoning of the well. You know, I oh, like I, I think but I think a I lot of this is dollars. inertial. He said you know, it builds up at debate now, but this has been a train wreck. Make it make sense. Yeah. True. Also, yeah, this isn't scripted, is it? Is he doing this? Wait, I'm just wait. He's doing this off the cuff. Is he doing? I just realized. Has he got a script? He's not got a script, has he? Right? Or oh, at the very least, even if he has got some stuff written down, he's freestyling at other points. Bro, you need to script this out. 100% you need to script this out. He's reading something, but is he, like, is what he's saying now words he's written down to say, or is he freewheeling? Do not improvise. Do not improvise. Write down what you're going to say and say it, dude. <laughs> That's probably why there's these problems cropping up. Oh. And I don't know how to stop that inertia, right? I, I mean, people say... Uh, you talk about this often on your all the time. You CP on your stream, but well, I, well, here I am talking about it again. Will this be the last time, or will a month from now I'll be talking to someone and they'll be like, "Uh, aren't you that pedophile?" And I, what am I going to do? Stop the conversation and link them the video? You know, inertia is a difficult thing to stop. I think that's actually, I yeah, 
you are now, you are now, as that Vosh fan in the Reddit said, you are the guy that was found to have lolly horsecock porn. And that's a nice way of putting it. That's me putting it nicely. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? He said he doesn't act that way now. He just got caught now with the lowly. He is winging it again and making himself look more yep. gooning retarded. Shameful and burn that fucking... Austrian painter. It is hideous. I feel like you're more bothered by the coat than anything else. But thank you very much for the 333. Actually, like, the meaning of inertia, like, definitionally, so... I, I, I could opine at length about how a lot of the hate I get is inconsistent, and it's all a big popularity contest, and, and I'm an easy target, and, and, and people get upset with me for shit they'd write off if other people did it, and blah blah, but... Pointing out all of those extremely true and, and correct facts, it doesn't solve the problem. I don't want to be disliked. I don't even really want to be controversial. I, I think the stuff that I advocate for is, is, is universally good. I want Bro, this guy says insane things all the time, particularly about conservatives. I don't want to be controversial. Everyone to live a better life, you know? People disagree about how to do that, but as long as you're on the path... As long as you think people being happy is a is a good thing to fight for, then I think there's at least some agreement to be had. I, I don't want to be controversial for that reason or or for a lot of the reasons I seem to be. You know, I, I get into fights with people who agree with me on like 99% of shit. I, I think my channel is a, a, a cool and positive place. And, I, and, and, and it and my community are both a, a big source of pride for me. So I'd like it if everyone or half of everyone some proportion regardless of what he's saying as well i feel there's an like it's like he's talking about the optics of this but the optics of this are bad because he's explaining too much this is why you need a short succinct video that covers the basic points but now he's just sort of rattling stuff off and it just sounds like hope regardless of what he's saying just stick to the facts stick to the allegations boom 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 boom, boom. this is just oh rough rough content to, to, to look at. ...of everyone could see it that way. There's not much I can do about the optics black hole, though, at least not right away. I don't expect this video will get much positive attention on release. I, I think it's going to be kind of broadly ridiculed, largely, I think, from folks trashing it who haven't actually watched it. This is something that I expect. This is something we all know will happen. Whether or not you agree with me on any of this, you know that'll happen. It's unfortunate, but I, I can't make that not happen. I can't, like... I mean, yeah, sure, obviously, that's fair. Right, you should watch it before you speak on it. But uh, I mean, I've just watched it, and I was <laughs> oh, probably give it a what, two or three out of ten in terms of a response. I guess I don't know. It just seems. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is going to work with his core audience. His core audience are going to feel validated and backed up by this, and be like, "Yeah, look, there's the video." Anyone outside of that core group, I think, are gonna are gonna just think this is terrible. And on top of that as well, it's amazing that Vosh has got the audacity to complain about people not watching content when he has repeatedly said that he has not watched the Ethan Klein H3 videos about this and seemingly hasn't even at this point because okay, he's arguing wonderful. against things they've but covered. Thank you for the super chat. Off depressed people. Oh, the naysayers aren't moved by this. Oh, dude rewrite reality so if i can't do that then i just have to accept it and i'm sure there will be like drama youtubers who 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 comb over and pause every two seconds to talk about the like pedophilic contour of my frontal lobe or, or whatever you know they'll just make a big laugh riot out of it bro you do this yourself to other people when i first started watching that was your whole shtick you would watch conservative videos and pause and say crazy things about them bro <laughs> <laughs> me reaping, me sowing once again. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh, it just seems so crazy to me that a lot of the things he's calling out of other people, he does he does himself. I mean, I don't think I've done I don't think I've done that. I don't think I've talked about the contour pedophilic lines or anything. I've been quite fair, I feel. I've done my best to be fair to this, and I've said when I think there's stuff that I, I think is you know correct, good for saying that. But it's just few and far between, and most of it is just a disaster. Still, in spite of all of that, okay, that's one. As, as, as best as I can, it's it's Most honest and straightforward, and I don't think the Pete Townsend defense there's much I can do besides present it that way and let people make their own judgments. Research, so yeah, yes, that's it. Uh, that's I'm done research. making all also of the, the arguments British about my past and how people perceive me and because British. You know, I agree. There's there's tons of excuses he could have used. It's like he's he's to me is trying to cover for it, but with the worst possible excuse he could have made. 
Dog ate my homework levels. Anyway, right, let's get through this and then uh, we'll see what else there is. Blah, blah. I, I want to take a second here at the end to directly address just my audience. Um, and what I'm hoping for in the future and what I'm asking for from them. Uh, you can still watch if you want, but uh, if you don't care, then you can leave without missing anything. So to my audience, thanks for sitting through the whole thing. Uh, I, I know you don't have much of an attention span, uh, especially because you're not used to this type of content on the channel. Don't laugh. Live streamers only turn into video essayists when they're extremely nervous. Look, first of all, I, I want to apologize for making it so difficult to be a fan of mine uh, and a member of my community. Uh, seriously, I'm sorry. Uh, in this respect, at least, you know, I, I think I've let you guys down. I think this is a, a great community, you know, exceptional even. And as a consequence of my obstinance and carelessness and uh, stupid fucking debate bro hypotheticals, many of you have been ostracized from other online communities or, or, or harassed on my behalf. The content of this channel and my messaging is unambiguously progressive and inclusive and good spirited. You know, it's. That, that, that might not be the popular conception of me and my content, but it remains true nevertheless. None of the people who enjoy my content for those reasons expected, I imagine, to be pushed out of other communities uh, with similar values uh, because they were a part of mine. Because but the thing is, this pushing, I mean, first of all, yeah, people are saying in chat, but Vosh's community is full of absolute fucking degenerate wokes called freaks. You know, it's, <laughs> but like some of these people were saying insane things. Some of the things they were saying about it were wild. And whilst, you know, I think the average viewer, there's some culpability there. I mean, like Vosh, Vosh loaded them up with shit arguments. I guess he's apologizing to them. So I don't know, man. <laughs> these people were saying insane things on the internet to defend Vosh. Stuff that Vosh hasn't even said. They made it up at their own accord. Kevils and Tipster falling on the fucking grenade too. Jesus Christ. Because of me and my reputation. Yeah, I don't want that to continue being the case, but I don't really know what I can do to change it. You know, there's already such a massive gulf between what I know I am and what people think I am. The inertia of the uncharitability that I'm trying to push back against, it just feels overwhelming at times. While I'm working on that, you can help, you know? I want you guys to chill. Stop fighting on my behalf. Uh, stop arguing for me against others, especially on the subject of this video. That's one of the- Oh! Is that a little uh, Keffel's tipster thing as well, do you reckon? Why didn't he say that first? It's all very well saying that now, but it's too late. You should have said that in your first response. You should have said, listen, guys, let me take this one, okay? Don't go out there and defend me. This is, a, I understand this imposter, this is like indefensible to try and defend. Don't bother. I'll figure out a response and cut and come out with it, right? It's too late now. Kevils and Tips to have thrown themselves onto the lolly grenade. Ooh, it's too late. It's done. The, the drama cycle is complete, more or less. And this has just churned it on another day. But the discourse and discussion about this is done. Of the reasons I made this video, you know, I, I saw so many people in my community tirelessly arguing against the worst and most dishonest shit people say about me, and I wanted them to have something that they could point to. This video, five years of drama, of bad faith bullshit and honest skepticism, condensed. <laughs> Guys, and addressed... you can't criticize Vosh for accidentally downloading lolly pornography unless you've watched his one hour forty minute response video. Okay. You must go and watch this one hour, 40 minute response video before you can comment on that. As clearly and as honestly as I could. If you're in another community and someone is giving you shit because they think you support a pedophile, point them to this video. And if they don't want to watch it, then that's that. You know, you, you, there's nothing you can do about it. It's, no. it's their choice, right? This is something that we've seen time and time again. People don't just change their minds because you've argued them out of a point. I mean, it's very rare. You have to make people want to believe. You have to sell... So, yeah, I mean, again, this is a repeated point, but he is perfectly willing to criticize someone for a video he hasn't watched. But in reverse, it's bad. Dude, this is so... Oh, God. It's never been more over.
This is it. The fortress is bringing up its drawbridge for the final time. Tell them the argument. And if the argument is that this community is good, then hey, or, or that I'm good, look, there are ways to do that, right? You know, you, you can. I'm not saying it's pointless to be a positive advocate for this community, but I want you to be just that, a, a positive advocate. Don't let me and this space and all the people who are a part of it be defined exclusively through raging against the, the constant pointless bad faith drama. You know, don't let that be what this is. You know, to be frank, nobody's ever been sold on a YouTuber because they saw a fan of that YouTuber passionately arguing that they're not a pedophile, right? When have you, it, it doesn't work. That's all people see looking in from outside this community, you know? We, a lot of this is me, you know, a lot of this is my fault, but as a, natural consequence of the my particular kinds of brain damage the people in this community like arguing and it's very frustrating to a lot of the people in this community to argue a point that seems absolutely completely inarguably straightforward straight line argument no way people are going to disagree with it you know something about me about the community and then other people don't respond well to it and it's frustrating and it feels like you're just battling non-stop against tides of irrational hate and to an extent yeah but what is arguing against it this way done what has it gotten you or us? Not much, I'd wager. There are better ways to make, uh, to make these points. Talk about the good bits, you know? The funny bits, all the good arguments, uh, the fundraising for charity or uh, the, the canvassing or positivity or life advice or whatever. There are lots of good things yeah, to talk I about. Just, I, yeah. just, I just really just... I, want guys, I, this, I just got a very different view to this, right? I want you guys to watch me because you like my content. Maybe you think I'm funny. Maybe you think I've got an interesting perspective on it. Maybe it's like laughing at me. Maybe it's like mocking me. Maybe it's like mocking me getting angry. Who fucking knows, right? Okay. But this idea that you're going to go out and like argue on my behalf. I mean, obviously, I guess if it's like some crazy allegation, that's one thing. But if someone's like, Chud's racist, just go, yeah, Chud's racist. It's funny. <laughs> there we go. I don't even want to go and fight battles for me and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just find it to be like, if you want to, if you want to make a point because you want to make a point, that's fine. But don't feel any obligation to be become my personal army. I don't know. I just find that very cringe. You know, don't ever feel like you need to justify me to anyone. Like, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. Right? And I'll I'll worry about getting enough people to like me to watch me so that I can sustain an income doing this. You know. <clears throat> Yeah, you don't need to you don't need to fight for a streamer. It's so stupid. You know, I I remember I I remember a while ago, uh, someone on someone on Twitter they got upset with me. I I don't remember why. It was a trans advocacy account and there were people in their community who were also in mine and, and they got upset with me. So people following them replied, "No, don't go after Vosh. He's cool." And that that trans advocacy account tweeted why do you all like Vosh so much? Like, seriously, what's with all this defense? You know, what has he done for you? And what resulted from that was, and this has been archived, you know, it's 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 something that I look at, uh, you know, I'm, I'm man enough to admit, I get a little misty-eyed. Hundreds and hundreds of people talking about how me or the community, this community, has been, or have been uh, instrumental in helping them in some way with regards to their identity, uh, their acceptance, their ability to defend themselves against bad arguments. Oh, God, I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> Just really. Oh, it's not for me. Not my cup of tea. Let's put it that way. The answer to what has this content creator done for you should only ever be he's entertained me sometimes as far as I'm concerned. Okay. I just have got a very different view on this. I just think that should be it. That should be the links of it. I just find anything beyond that to be very cringe. That is my personal taste. That is my personal view. But... Hey, maybe you disagree. I just think it should only ever be about entertainment. Arguments. Uh, that's good, right? I mean, that's a that's a good sell. I, I don't certainly. I, I don't think that I would remember this with the same fondness that I do now if the response from my community had been like, I don't know, trying to debate them. Didn't cry. Didn't mention the horse. Gave us a meandering lecture on utilitarianism. No making his porn consumption is something that requires self-reflection. Two out of ten apology, and he gets one because it was really funny when it interested every clip by saying, "Oh boy, this one is bad." It, on how like, ah, it's illogical for you to not like Vosh. How could you not? You know, like I, uh, I don't think I'd remember it if that was what people did. Of course, all the kind stories didn't actually work. They deleted the tweet asking for him, and nothing changed. But it's still something we can point to.
It's something I can think of. Be positive. Be the sun. Uh, you know, I don't know if it'll really make a difference in the long run, but I know it can't help. It, it, it can't hurt to try, right? It's a better sell. It's a better argument. The odds are better. Feels better too. We're going to be positive. We're all going to be. Not just you. Me too. We're, we're all going to work on it. Speaking of Chills. making a difference Chills. for this community, I'd like to address the irony posters in particular. For years now, a, a large part of my community's culture has been defined by the way I and my audience respond to people who accuse me of being anything bad, uh, sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, pedophilic, whatever, like any of that. And I've received plenty of legitimate, well-intentioned, honest criticism, but a lot of it is insane and dishonest and, and just flatly wrong. And, and when people are acting dishonestly, it, it feels like there's no point in responding to it seriously. And that's when the ironic shit posting really rears up. And boy, is there a lot of it in my community about, about the pedophilia accusations, about everything. Oh, is he going to say, stop, stop doing the irony posting because it looks bad. Is that what's, is that what's, because bear in mind the clip of him showing it on stream was shared by others too, but one of his community members, so what's Dino Smash or something, I think the name is, they shared the clip on Twitter. They thought it was a joke. They shared it thinking it's a funny joke that he's got fucking horse cock shit and, and maybe he didn't know, but Lollicon maybe didn't know that bit, but the horse cock stuff I think was was there. You know, and it's, it's like he thought it was a funny joke to put out there, not, oh shit, this is going to be really bad. It's all, it's all a big joke to some people. And by the way, I don't mind jokes, but for this subject in particular, the one in this video, the jokes are done. Full stop, done. Ooh. No more ironic, okay buddy, Vouch, pedo jacketing. No more memes. I don't find the subject funny. Uh, I have never found it funny, Ooh. to be honest. Uh, but I have been Oof. weak and indecisive, and I was worried. Uh, telling the shit posters to cut it out would give the impression I was trying to hide all this, all the accusations, when I'd already oh, addressed them rough. so many times. Engaging with constant, edgy, ironic pedo jacketing from my own community always made me feel a little sick, but it was a kind of acknowledgement, and I thought it looked better than trying to quiet it all down. Okay, that's you know, wonderful. oh, <laughs> those bad faith pedo accusations against me. I was Ooh. about to top myself, but then I, I mean, heard he's you right. say a racist joke on stream and it Thank made me want to live chat. again so that I could keep being racist. I mean, he is right. And within his own community, that's going to work. But outside of his community, not so much. I think people are going to know where the pain point is now and go for it. But yeah, you you can't, I mean, you know, a, a bit of memeing about something is fine, but getting it to the point where there's constant jokes about you being a pedo. Yeah, that's bad. And that mentality is, I think, what contributed to this, at least. Because although other people shared the clip, it was Dino Smash's tweet that got posted to Kiwi Farms. And then Josh Moon tweeted it out. So, yeah. This kind of stuff might be a joke to you, but if someone picks it up, Okay, that's one that doesn't like you. But how yeah. do I make money off depressed people? Wrapping your I jacked it to lowly and let you all swear fealty and die for me video. <laughs> and I love this community so much. Please take care of yourself. We must do better as a group. Is such disgusting levels of yeah. blame shifting oh, I agree. and parasocial manipulation? I agree. Yes, fucked. Yeah. I, I, you know, this, this is Vosh, I think wrapping himself around the community in a way that kind of segments that off further because he recognizes that beyond that, he's probably fucked. He needs to retain what he's got and maybe he'll get drips and drabs coming through in the future as people find his stuff, but broadly in the wider community out there, this is the end of his, um, you know, like the end of his image more broadly, I think. It's too much. You know, the H3 stuff, this response doesn't really address it. It's a very hard thing to address and, and, and come overcome. Yeah. The drawbridge is up. They're so addressed that I can make jokes about them. Look at how over it I am. Yeah. Using irony as a shield, blah, blah. Clearly, I was never over it. And I think that I've given the impression of having a community that doesn't care whether those accusations are true or not, rather than one that has been irreverent about not believing them. I don't think that's actually the case, but clearly impressions mean a lot.
you know, like I said, it's done. You, you can keep making the uh, the horse jokes, by the way. Everyone loves the horse jokes. Oh, have, no. have you seen all the people out there in the, the, the drama circles trying to get all fun. serious about them? Fucking jokers, I, I tell you. Anything involving child abuse, that's uh, that's a serious subject. I understand outrage. Uh, it's just so that, that that's the mentality his community has had, and it's been crazy to a lot of people, but now he's backing that up. Yeah. Don't joke about the pedo stuff, but me wanting to suck a big meaty horse cock or get fucked by one or fuck with one, A OK, guys. Porn sick behavior. Brittany, I'll make a whole video essay addressing it. You know, I'll, I'll take it seriously. But the horse thing, you know, so, so I, you know, I say I want to be a big horse, the big horse dick, a big whoop. You know, who doesn't? Everyone does. It's not serious. You know, it, it, people try to because because this is how the drama thing works, right? You know, it's all one big like, ah, look at all this bad, whatever. But if you if you equate, I mean, again, I, I really, really do think through all this. I've well demonstrated, you know, that the, the pedo jacketing people do to me is is not justified by the evidence at all. I think there's a much more charitable and accurate explanation, but it's still a serious topic, right? So when people equate that serious topic with like, oh, he wants to be the horse, if you equate those two things or like hold them in equal regard, or you're jumping back and forth between making horse jokes and like serious pedo accusations. I don't know, that 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 just comes across weird to me. Does that make sense? Like that, that <laughs> like it, it This dude is so obnoxious. He has got lollycock. Like on horse cock porn on his computer, fusing the two together. But you're bad for fucking joking about it and flitting between the two. Come on, man, that's absurd. You're the one that had the fucking oh, dude, that is unbelievable. That he's going to attack others for poking fun at this, whilst also pointing out some of the serious aspects. You're kind of weird, guys. I tell you what's weird is jerking off to fucking horse cock porno, jerking off to lollycon porno. That's the fucking weird part. To me, I guess, like, a, a perceptual unseriousness. It, 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 it makes me feel like it's all just a big nothing and no one actually cares. You know, I, I don't give a shit about the horse jokes. Um, you know, you're, it's all, like, content mill drama bullshit. Like, who cares? It, nothing matters beyond its ability to get, like, clicks or views. Uh, I don't know. You know, just, just dumb. Dumb to see that. You know, I, I, there's a lot of work to be done. This is an election year. A lot of news has there happened. Is again. Greece has legalized gay marriage. That's pretty cool. They've, they've, they've reinvented being gay. I know I've always Let's go. been on the back foot. Election year, guys, come on. Stop talking about my stuff. Okay? But when it comes to good optics and making friends, and that's never been easy for me. And it's going to be a lot harder now. But I guess that just means that I'll have to try twice as hard to do and to say good things and give people a good impression of me. I don't know if it's even possible to climb out of an optical black hole like this, but I believe in the work that I do, and I think I've got a pretty great community. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's possible. Uh, you know, I'll be back to streaming soon. I've already missed too much news. Don't get into any fights over me. It's fine. It's, it's a good community. Be positive. There we go, guys. Oh, I think I've said my piece on this. Rough stuff all round.